Hello everyone, welcome back. It is raining. We're not fencing. So me and Levi had to get some parts for the equipment. So we're in the great state of Tennessee checking out tractors. Because that's what farmers do on their days off, right? But anyhow, we uh, just looking around. See what's out there. Is it unlocked? There's a T475. And over here is the green paint. We're not that brand loyal. Not that brand loyal. Do what? Yeah, Levi's window shopping, picking out his Christmas present, he said. Locked up, is it? Well, we're going to get off here and go in if we're getting wet. But uh, we'll show you around. We're at... Uh... Okay, we went through the green store. Now we're at the blue and red store we're picking up a few odds and end parts riding through the uh, lots just to see what they have they're uh, in our area Ford tractors used to be real popular and this is a dealership that sold a lot of them um, and then of course they were bought out by New Holland and uh, They kind of, uh, it's probably still the biggest dealership in the area, but uh, we're just riding out on the back lot to see what's, what they have. First, a John Deere, first, some used stuff. But uh, for a long time, all you seen was blue tractors in this area, and uh, then we got a couple of. Uh, John Deere dealerships and uh, you see more and more green paint now than you did before but uh, it's interesting to see but they've got quite a bit of stuff this is uh, we're still in East Tennessee this is where my new Holland came from originally I didn't get it here but uh, but yeah, it's a rainy, dreary day, and we're trying to pick up a few parts. We may run back home. We're both off today, and uh, there's a big case. You're seeing more and more cases in the area is where I was going with that rambling of an idiot. But uh, you're starting to see more and more of them in our area, uh, which this area, there were some... You'd see some back in the 70s and early 80s, but uh, anyhow, we're going to run in here and spend a little money and we'll be back. All right, so we went to the parts counter. <laughs> One thing about farming, see this little bag right here? It's 85 bucks, and there's three bolts, a little bitty gas shock, and uh, three pieces, of, four pieces of rubber in it. That's eighty-five dollars. <laughs> it costs a fortune sometimes, but that's just part of it. All right, we're going to go on down to a couple more farm equipment dealerships, and uh, we'll be back in just a minute. Now this is more our speed. This is used equipment. Just a small little lot out of the way. They got a corn picker, a hay bind, a couple of wagons, hay baler. Some mowing machines, turning plows, all of it's used, of course. Uh, they do have some newer stuff. They got a uh, corn elevator, if you can see it. It's not a bad looking little elevator, but, uh, and a couple of small tractors, whatever. This is actually the place I bought the uh, Sam E's mower. 
uh, drum mower, which has done me excellent. But uh, when I was a kid, there's a lot of every, every four or five miles you'd see little dealerships like this, and they just traded and used implements for the most part. But now it's uh, you don't see it as much. Uh, uh, with the loss of burley tobacco and what happened with burley tobacco is the uh, quotas were bought out very similar to what happened to the uh, dairies in the uh, in the 70s but uh, anyhow we, we got one more stop to make we'll look and there's another one up here and then we're gonna get us something to eat and get home and uh tinker around but this is kind of this is kind of typical for farmers on a rainy day when they have nothing else to do so uh, we will check back in with you in a minute this is actually this is beautiful country down here uh we like i said we are in east tennessee if uh we are in green county right now this is green county tennessee and uh in between Johnson City, Jonesboro, and Greenville, Tennessee. Uh, give folks an idea. Beautiful country. I love it down here. I always have. Uh, just pretty farmland. Although it's getting developed. You see more and more houses being built. Um, as you can see as we drive through here. But uh, a lot of these larger farms are getting cut up into housing developments or residential areas so there's a for sale sign there and you can see the gates and the fences um, typically not a sign of agriculture different type of gate different type of fence uh, but anyhow we will check back in with you guys in a few minutes Bye. well we've made a this is our final stop for the day, then we're heading home. But uh, we really haven't bought anything except a few parts. And uh, we're going to get out and check out and see what they've got here and head on home. Hope you enjoyed the ride along with me and Mr. Levi. We just stopped at the Amish store and got us a sandwich. And uh, now we're going to see what they got going on here. It's 2 o'clock, and then we're going to head on home. So if you like what we're doing, please uh, subscribe to us. If uh, see a video you like or whatever, has a question, let us know. We'll talk to you guys later. Bye.